Fox 59 News, leading the way. Weeknights from 4 to 7.30. From Central Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 News, first at 4. Hey guys, thanks for watching here first at 4. I'm Nick McGill. And I'm Birchelle Edme, in for Aaliyah. An already major event in Indianapolis made historic by Vice President Kamala Harris's new status as the presumptive Democratic nominee for president. Yeah, she spoke to a historically black sororities gathering in downtown Indy today. She also received the endorsement of Mayor Joe Hogsett here this morning. Fox 59 Dan Spieler is joining us live now with the key points. Hey, Dan. Yeah, hey Nick and Birchelle, good afternoon. As Vice President Harris hits the campaign trail this week, launching her new campaign for president, her remarks here in Indianapolis today were in her official capacity as VP, although her speech today here in Indy did touch on a number of the themes that she wants to put front and center in 2024. Fox 59's Live at 5 starts right now. From Central Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 News at 5. Indiana becomes a stop on the road to the White House. Vice President Kamala Harris spoke today in Indianapolis, and Republican VP nominee J.D. Vance is in Fort Wayne. We're taking a closer look at Indiana's role in this presidential election. Well, there are showers and thunderstorms in central Indiana on this Wednesday afternoon and a lot of humidity, too. But there's also a cold front coming. I'll show you when the cooler air will arrive, what it'll do to our nighttime temperatures, and we're tracking heat long range. And new information about the moments leading up to a crash that injured eight people in Indy. Plus, what we've uncovered about the suspected driver's history. Vice President Kamala Harris's stop in Indianapolis now making a major headline. It comes just days after becoming the presumptive Democratic nominee for president. When I am president of the United States. We have live team coverage of her visit and Indiana's role in the race for the White House. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Birchelle Edme. And I'm Nick McGill. Vice President Harris was in Indy for an event that was scheduled long before she became the presumptive Democratic nominee for president. Fox 59's political director Dan Spieler joining us now live from downtown Indy, where the vice president just spoke earlier this afternoon. Yeah, hey guys, good afternoon. We have team coverage tonight of this historic week in politics. Indiana, the center of attention today with both Vice President Harris and Vice Presidential Candidate J.D. Vance in the Hoosier State. You know, as Vice President Harris hits the campaign trail, launching her new campaign for president, this stop here in Indy today was in her official capacity as Vice President, but many of the themes she spoke to today are many of the same topics she's putting front and center in the race for 2024. The News at 6 starts right now. From Central Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 News at 6. Now at 6, Indianapolis welcomes the presumptive Democratic nominee for president as Fort Wayne hosts Republican VP nominee J.D. Vance. This evening, we're taking a closer look at Indiana's role in this presidential election. And tonight, several children remain in the hospital after a violent crash on the near east side. The new information we're learning about the driver arrested in the case. Some drenching downpours this afternoon awaiting a cold front. And when it does arrive, we're going to lower the humidity. I'll show you when we could have some nighttime lows back in the 50s. Fox 59 is your local election headquarters. Vice President Kamala Harris in Indianapolis just days after becoming the presumptive Democratic nominee for president. Thanks for joining us here this evening for our News at 6. I'm Birchelle Edme. Yeah, and I'm Nick McGill. We have live team coverage of Harris's visit and Indiana's role in the race for the White House. So we're going to start with Fox 59 political director Dan Spieler, who's live at the convention center downtown where Vice President Harris spoke this afternoon. Hey, Dan. Yeah, Nick and Birchelle, good evening. As Vice President Harris hits the campaign trail to begin this new campaign for president, her remarks here at the Indiana Convention Center today were in her official capacity as vice president, though she did touch on a number of themes that she's expected to put front and center in the race for 2024.
Presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris in Indy today. Vice President Kamala Harris. New information surrounding her running mate shortlist. That's coming up. Plus unsettling history. We're learning more about the driver accused of causing a car crash in Indy's east side yesterday, leaving eight people injured. Plus, Indy leaders keep pushing for an MLS franchise in the Circle City. The expert from a nearby MLS franchise city on what it would take to bring a top flight club right to our area. But we're going to begin the news at 7 with a live look at the White House, where in one hour, President Biden will deliver a primetime address to the nation. Biden says he'll speak on what lies ahead after his decision to exit the race for re-election. He's among the dozens of Democrats to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris to replace him. Now, earlier this week, she became the presumptive Democratic nominee. And now we're learning that Harris is vetting about 12 possible running mates. It's much more than what has previously been reported. Among those on the short list, Transportation Secretary and former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, Governors Andy Beshear, Josh Shapiro, Gretchen Whitmer, also among those names floated. An unexpected candidate to surface, though, is Gina Raimondo. Now, all this comes after Vice President Harris made a historic trip to Indianapolis today. She spoke to a historically black sorority gathering downtown. Fox 59's Dan Spieler breaks down the key points. As Vice President Harris hits the campaign trail in her new campaign for president, her remarks here in Indiana were part of her official capacity as vice president. But she did touch on many of the themes she'll be putting front and center in this race for president in 2024. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? From Central Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 News at 10. Now at 10, President Joe Biden looks to cement his legacy. My fellow Americans, it's been the privilege of my life to serve this nation for over 50 years. Tonight, the vision he's laying out for his final months in office. Indiana is the center of the campaign trail. The message presumptive Democratic nominee Kamala Harris is sending to voters as support builds for her nomination. Plus, Republican nominee for vice president J.D. Vance draws up support in Fort Wayne. The downpours are departing and soon the humidity will lower. We're bringing a cold front through in central Indiana. There's a big change before the end of the week. I'll show you how it will feel in my forecast. And cracking down on a need for speed. Tonight, the new program hoping to put dangerous driving habits in the rearview mirror. Fox 59 News at 10 starts right now. I believe my record as president. My leadership in the world, my vision for America's future, all merited a second term. But nothing, nothing can come in the way of saving our democracy. President Joe Biden addresses the nation with his vision for his final months in office. Thanks for joining us for our News at 10. I'm Birchel Edme. And I'm Dan Spieler. This is the first time that we have heard from the president since his historic announcement this past weekend. Tonight, he made it very clear he feels democracy is more important than simply holding the title of president. And he says now is the time to pass the torch to the next generation. But that's not the only big story that we are following here on the campaign trail this evening. Vice President Kamala Harris was in Indianapolis today sharing her support for President Biden's decision and her vision to voters. We'll get to that in just a moment here. But first, we do start with President Biden's speech earlier this evening. Washington correspondent Maddie Beer Temple joins us from the nation's capital to share how the president is planning to cement his legacy. Maddie. President Joe Biden says he reveres the office of the presidency, but he loves his country more. And that's why he's not seeking a second term. From central Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 News Point. Good evening, I'm Nick McGill. President Biden delivered his first major speech to the nation since he announced he will no longer seek re-election. His direct address to the American people. Plus, an apartment fire destroys the homes of more than 30 people. What firefighters think caused it and reaction from a tenant who saw and heard what happened. And new details emerge in a massive crash that injured eight on Indy's east side. The suspect's criminal history and the new surveillance video showing the moments leading up to that collision. In his office, I love my country more. It's been the honor of my life to serve as your president. But in the defense of democracy, which is at stake, 
I think is more important than any title. Oxford tonight is your local election headquarters. You just heard President Biden speaking directly to the nation on his decision not to seek re-election. He wrapped up his primetime address just hours ago.